in this episode of American Greed. Ride him, cowgirl. Rita Cronwell appears to be a humble, small-town civil servant, but she's living a double life as a world champion horse breeder. It's a deception that comes at a huge price. Everything that I've learned about showing horses, you must either be independently wealthy or you're stealing the money. When this cunning comptroller diverts more than $53 million of Dixon, Illinois' money into her horse empire, she leaves a city on the verge of collapse. People are going to have to lose their jobs to balance this budget. For what, a horse? For a trophy? Are you kidding me? And later, Staten Island native Joe Mazzella wants to help friends and neighbors with the promise of using their money to turn distressed properties into highly profitable residential oases. Joe's pitches were just like you going out and having a beer with a friend. He lures in retirees, policemen, firemen, and even members of the deaf community. But this opportunity is a $14 million scam where his client's savings and lives end up as gutted as his junk properties. I was calling him every single day. Where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? And there was no money. Nothing came. 